was called out to um, give this uh, tank a service while they run. They dry the cows off so they don't milk for a month or so. So I like to get a service while it's um, empty. Um, put a new hose on there. Old one was a kink in it. Uh, I've just gone to fire the two compressors up. Only one of them is running, so put the um, gauges on the other one. It's only got 20 psi in both sides. Oh, I don't know if you can see. There's a sort of pattern on the floor, and the way the water's sitting on there. Um, I don't know if you can see. How's that look as water does when, um, when it's sitting on oil? So, uh, there's a little bung under here for the temperature probe, where the milk temperature goes. expected it to go off the scale but we've got a little buzz and then uh, nothing more but that oil has got to have come from somewhere I'm get the old nitrogen bottle out in the sea I think Right, well we've put, um, we put 160 psi in, which is about, it's our 22 system, so that's a crate to about 30 degrees. Um, I don't like putting too much pressure in these evaporators, but it's designed to cool milk from 35 down to f well, 3 degrees. So it should be able to cope with the pressure that the refrigerant's going to be at, at the temperature the product's going to be at. That's my logic on it anyway. Um, if I can remember which button we press. There we go. Hang on. I think we've got our that open. I'll leave that for a bit and see uh, see what it does. But the other thing you get is um, if the leak's behind one of these legs, you get oil staining on the on the threads. But uh, they look okay. And I say that that one looks a bit oily, but I think that's I think most of it's come out around there. Now we've got a bit of pressure behind it. I suppose 20 psi wasn't enough 
to uh, keep a nice um, quantity of refrigerant in that little area for the thing to pick up because it's denser than air it would just drop out the bottom around that plastic plug anyway it's not you know, it's not gas tight so uh, uh, it's up in a minute or two a couple of minutes what have we lost yeah Eight, nine psi. It's dropping like a stone, isn't it? So, uh, it's uh, got a leak in the tank between the two skins. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but you can actually hear the leak inside the tank. There we go, 25 minutes, 65 psi. Um, I'll bump that back up a bit now. Four cooling plates on the tank, sort of run the whole side to side. Um, the first one and the third one is on the good unit, and the second one and the last one is on the one that's uh, got the leak on it. So it's just uh, Seems to me like this was the one that sounded like it had the leak on it. I couldn't read. Uh, I couldn't read really how. Once it's in the skin, it's going to come out. Right anywhere, really. And that was the side that seemed worse. Stay on the floor, right?
No. Big COVID dealers want to do. Yep. All sorts of refrigerations. He took loads of pictures of before and after. Yeah. I think it's leaking on that one. And that one. Well, it sounded like it was leaking here originally. So it's got a TIG world around it. Probably do a few of the other ones as well. And then pressure test it and see. Right, that's that one, and that's the other one.